My name is John McWhorter. I'm a research scientist currently affiliated to Cardiff University. I do research mostly of a mathematical nature, uh, but it's in the context of signal processing for communications and engineering. Um, I work in Cardiff. I live in Malvern in Worcestershire, and I'm not sure there's anything else to say at the moment. I guess success or achievement, um, for an individual, I would define as managing to achieve the goals that you set for yourself. But that's clearly very different from uh, you know, success or achievement in a broader sense. And what I mean is um, some people may regard as success things which the rest of us would not value or, in fact, the opposite think uh, they'd be better not to do. So I guess in my case, um, uh, achievement or success is, for me, measured very much in terms of uh, contribution to society, humanity, knowledge, or whatever. Uh, and it's it's nice to feel that that you know might be the case. Well, I did a, um, a mathematics degree and a PhD at Queen's University in Belfast. And when I was finished, um, the only thing I, I knew was that I loved maths. And I loved the research in that area. It's really applied mathematics as opposed to pure mathematics. I loved research in that area, so I looked around for um, challenging jobs. And at that stage, the job market was not too bad for graduates. And I had several offers and opportunities, and I took up one which is in Malvern, where I still live, in Worcestershire, working for a government research laboratory, which was called the Royal Signals and Radar Establishment. So I ended up in an environment where military, radar, communications, sonar was the area of interest. And in the 19, late 1970s, some of our um, management team recognised signal processing as very important for the future. So. It wasn't my vision that got me into signal processing. It was that of my um, uh, superiors. Uh, I decided to give it a go and see if it was going to be you know, interesting or fun. And within six months, I'd found it very challenging, very interesting. And I carried on from there. What do I love about mathematics? When you go to solve problems, applied problems as well, um, if you want to, most of them require mathematics for the solution, but if you're going to do that with any success, then you have to have a very good and elegant formulation of the problem. It's got to be accurate, it's got to be suitable, and if you can get a suitable framework and then apply the, uh, the right mathematics to it, you can get very powerful and very elegant solutions which you know are uh, correct and, and adding some value to the subject. So I think it's just it's just that feeling of using and having a powerful tool which you can bring to bear on, on, on subjects that haven't been uh, maybe be successfully looked at otherwise. When I was about nine or ten years old, uh, there was a great fear that I would not pass the 11 plus because I wasn't doing anything much at school. Uh, and various, I suppose, pressures were brought to bear and incentives, including, I have to say, ones which would not be legal nowadays and involved a, <laughs> a swishy piece of wood. But suffice to say that I did get through my 11 plus and for some reason I got to secondary school and I just loved the new subjects. I loved uh, anything to do with science. I loved languages as well and I, I sort of took off from there, basically. Well, uh, that was about the age I left Belfast and joined the Royal Signals and Radar Establishment. Ambitions then just to make uh, a, quote, successful career in, in, uh, in my maths and, 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 and physics. I had no particular uh, notion of where the application area would be. And again, success at that stage was definitely me measured in terms of can I have a, um, uh, you know, can I, can I get new results? Can I have an impact on what's done and the way we do it and things like that? So 
That, that was really all I knew at that stage. Like any young researcher, uh, where the next paper was going to come from, um, how I was going to get my computer programs to work. We did have computer programs in those days, but only just. <laughs> and, and, and all the things that, that, that go with uh, starting out in research.